Hi guys, so while I was out looking for a mug, I found this one, this uh, here uh, uh, bowl of wood. It's from uh, a find in Uppsala, Sweden, and used in the Middle Ages somewhere, sometime. And so I had, I took this, uh, this bowl and with that image and this image and I created a template for how big or small it would be with the different sizes and uh, this is me recreating it out of birch although I think this is oak it looks like it's oak but I don't know it's been in the water in a well for a very long time Okay, okay, table sawing time. Need to make this long piece of birch into squares. So that's the first thing I'm doing. Making them to squares. This is uh, a normal sewing procedure. The, uh, there, it's about, they, 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 they they're going to be 16 by 16 centimeters and the height is slightly over 52 millimeters uh, that gives me some parts to waste on both sides right here I'm just marking the center and doing the and drawing a circle so I know just about where to drill and saw away the edges this hole is to for for mounting on the chuck on the lathe later on this saves a lot of time. Uh, the cutting away the edges of making the square to be a octagon doesn't really save that much time, but it saves me from picking up a lot of sawdust on the floor. And these are easier to use when they're easier to, to, to use for fire. So right now I'm. Oh, <laughs> I'm attaching the uh, 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 the piece of wood to the lathe, and I'm marking where the where the bottom connector is going to be. It's not a hole for putting mounting in the chuck, but a protrusion instead. And right now I'm just removing waste on the edges, making it round. It's a pretty nice work. It makes you zone out and have a well, think about life or not think about anything at all. And now I'm creeping up on creeping up on the the correct size. Oh, nice, nice camera movement there. And now I'm, I'm more carefully taking lighter cuts so that I get the uh, sort of good edge. I will both uh, sand and oil this later on, but for most of them I, I don't bother that much. This is the final pass. Whee! There we go. And now, yeah, to flip it over, it's uh, good to check that it's as round as possible or as centered as possible because if if I do this if I'm, I'm making this uh, two millimeters thick and if it's one millimeter or two millimeters off one edge going to be four millimeters thick and the other is going to be two and that's very visible to the eye I'm adding that little groove there I'm not sure what it's for I've been thinking that it might be for portion control or something. I don't know, um, but it's on it's on the it's on the fine, so I'm adding it. Here we go with sandpapering, sanding, oiling, uh, linseed oil. It's my, my favorite. Can make a nice edge on it later on. So. That's how it looks right now. It's a lot thinner than it was before. And now I have to remove the butt of all of them because that's not on 
those pictures. I'm not sure what's underneath there, but I've asked the museum. And this is the outcome of all those pieces. Nice, right?